kidding me? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be a very special one because not only is it my first ever overnight challenge, but it's also just my first challenge video in simply way too long, okay? Now I think the last challenge that I actually filmed and posted on my channel was recreating ETS Films trick shots in 2021, which was almost two years ago now that I say that, and today I'm finally going to be ending that streak. So anyways, let's get into the rules. Alright, so for the rules portion of this video and the 24 hour trick shot challenge, it's actually almost going to be a perfect split between the rules of two other challenge videos like this that I saw from two other creators, which are going to be doing trick shots for 24 hours by CoolKid26, and I can't go to sleep until I make 12 trick shots by ETS Films. And basically how this challenge is going to be similar to CoolKid26's video is I'm just going to be attempting and hopefully completing as many trick shots as I can within 24 hours. But how it's going to be similar to ETS Films video is that I'm going to have a set list of 12 trick shots that I'm going to try to complete within the 24 hour challenge, which I'll put that list up right here. And basically for me to complete this challenge I'm going to have to have three requirements. One, I have to complete at least 10 out of 12 of the trick shots. Two, I have to at least attempt all 12 trick shots. And three, I cannot fall asleep at any time in the challenge. So anyways, if I do not complete any one of those three challenges, or more than that, I will have to do a punishment which you guys will see at the end of the video. So yeah, that's basically the rules, so without further ado, let's get right into it. guys, so it is currently 8.03 a.m. on Saturday, May 27th, and we are just about ready to start getting underway with filming the 24-hour trick shot challenge. Now, I currently uh, have this challenge planned to start at 8.30 this morning so I can finish it up at about this time tomorrow morning. So for now, we're just going to eat a quick breakfast and then start getting underway with filming this challenge. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so it is now 8.29 a.m. and I just finished getting everything set up here, camera angle and just my first shot. And uh, before I start the timer, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the quality of this video might be a little bit worse than what my normal quality would be, uh, considering that I'm filming just in 30 frames per second for this video so I can save a little bit of uh, storage on my phone. And I just wanted to let you guys know about that before I actually start this challenge. So. Anyways, it just turned, so we are starting the 24 hour timer and the first shot we're going to be doing is just simply a pencil flip into a sharpener while standing. So anyways, here we go. pretty good anyways let's get on to shot number two alrighty guys so we are now set up for the second shot of this video and as you can tell I took a short setup break as we only have 23 hours and 40 minutes left now but anyway so this next shot is going to be probably a lot harder than the first one which is going to be a dark bullseye through a swinging tape roll so anyways this one could be a lot harder than the first one but I guess we never know so Anyways, let's just get started. Oh my gosh, that might have been it. Yes! 
guys, I got it. I was not expecting to get that. Alrighty guys, for a quick update of this video, we are about an hour and a half in right now. It's just about 10 o'clock and we're already on the third shot of this video, which is actually a lot better than I thought I'd be doing because uh, we've already scored the first two shots without even switching back and forth between them. And even though the second angle wasn't the best, I apologize for that, but we're going to roll with it. So anyways, for this next shot, we're going to be bringing back the bottle cap challenge trend. And for that, we're actually going to be doing the old coin snapping trend as well. And so for this third shot, I'm going to be knocking off this bottle cap with one of these pennies standing about back by the TV there. And that's about all I have to say, so let's get started. Hit the bottle cap, but it didn't knock it off. Darn it. Alrighty guys, so we have successfully made it to the fourth shot of this video. We have just over uh, 21 and a half hours left, and it's finally time for one of my specialty shots. We're doing the 16 stack to D stack for my fourth shot. So I did want to let you guys know that I'm probably going to be taking a lunch break in probably about an hour or so, so I'll probably try until about 20 and a half hours left or so, but if I get it before then, then maybe I'll take an early lunch break, but if not, then I guess we'll just keep going, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I've only been doing this for like five minutes, but I just realized how bad I am at actually de-stacking while sitting down, so I think I'm gonna get rid of the chair. We'll be back. First time getting eight. Same thing. All right, well, guys, I did that shot for, I think, just under an hour, but I think I'm gonna take a quick lunch break because it's 11.56 right now. So this time we're still gonna be running, but I'll be back in probably about an hour, hour and a half or so. And I may come back to this shot a little later, but I think I'm going to take a break from it for now. So, anyways, see you after lunch. Alrighty guys, so I just finished eating lunch and came back down here and set everything back up. And so, as of right now, we have about 19 and a half hours left in the challenge. And we're on to trick shot number five, so we're not doing too bad. And this next shot is actually going to be a pop dart trick shot, just from back here, about as far as you can see in the frame, to stick right onto this thing. And I haven't really tested this out a whole lot, so I don't really know how it's going to go. But uh, anyways, I think this is the angle that I'm going to use. So anyways, guess let's get started. Yes! Okay, got it. There we go. 
Back it out on the start. And to be completely honest, that one was honestly kind of harder than I thought. It took probably about 20, 25 minutes, but I was expecting it to be quicker, so. Anyways, we still got it, so check that one off the list. Alrighty guys, so for this next shot, as you can kind of tell, I've kind of moved back into the lounging area of the basement. And uh, for this next shot, I actually have a blindfold, meaning that I'm going to be doing a blindfolded cap on cap for this next shot. And uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, the only reason that I have a Gatorade bottle on the bottom is because I don't have any smart water bottles at this point in time. And if I didn't have one of those, which I don't, I don't even know if I could score this shot in like 10 hours or so. And I'm not even real confident with a Gatorade bottle, but that's just what I'm gonna use today. And so I'm gonna get this ready, and then we are going to get the timer back rolling. Just give me one second. Okay. So we're at 18 hours and 55 minutes remaining. So anyways, let's just get started. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That was second try. Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? Oh my gosh, let's go guys! It's delicious. Alrighty guys, well since I happened to get super lucky with the last shot, I'm gonna hit the 16 stack to D stack again for maybe another 30 minutes or so just to see if I can get it. So, I doubt it'll go past the 18 hour mark, but anyways, we're gonna give this a few attempts for now. Okay guys, so I'm not afraid to admit this, but this was the point in the challenge where I was starting to get really stubborn against myself. The near miss effect had me basically in full swing here because while my brain was telling me to quit and move on, my arm just kept telling me to do one more. You can do it right here. But that was mainly because I was getting 10, 11, 12, or even 13 dice off the original stack and then failing. And because of this, I ended up filming for over 90 minutes straight on this shot before taking about a 30 minute break. But finally, after two hours of attempting this shot at around 4 o'clock p.m., this happened. Yes! Let's go! Finally! Oh my gosh, that took forever. Yes, guys. Okay, we're finally done with that shot. And it is 3.57 in the afternoon. Currently have 16 and a half hours remaining in the challenge. But six shots down as well, so we're doing pretty good. Next shot. Okay guys, so since we're up on the ping pong table, I'm just gonna do this shot here quick. So what I've planned for this shot is just simply two in a row Expo Cap Flips 1.0. So anyways, pretty straightforward, so let's just get started. Closest one yet. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. That was close too. Oh my goodness! Oh my 
Yes, there we go. Oh boy, that took too long, guys. Way longer than I thought it would take, but we got it. Alright guys, so quick update, it is now about 7.30 in the evening, and I just finished eating dinner as well as building this contraption right here, which, to be honest, took a lot of testing out, but anyways, this is my eighth trick shot, and I have scored all the seven so far that I've attempted. So anyways, this will be what I'll be doing probably for about the next hour or so, hopefully. And uh, that's about all I have to tell you, so let's get started. Here we go. Into there. Yes. Let's go. And yeah, looks like that took about 35, 40 minutes. Not bad. So I think I'm gonna clean this up and then maybe we can watch the countdown to the halfway point together. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are halfway, folks. Halfway done with this insanely grueling challenge. And not feeling the fatigue quite yet, but I'm betting it's gonna set in soon, so these next few hours could be kinda tough, but luckily I only have about two more shots to get to complete the challenge. So anyways, next shot. Alrighty guys, so we are now on to the ninth shot of today's video, and it's currently about nine o'clock right now, sun's so just about to go down. And so for this shot, this one was honestly supposed to be in the beginning, but I just kind of forgot to do it. So it's just the old classic 20 stack onto an expo cap, and I'm sure you guys have seen me do this several times, probably like three or four even. But uh, anyways, that's all for this shot, so let's get started. Perfect 16 right there. Never mind. Just fell right as I said that. was actually in the Q&A. This one took probably under five minutes, so I may have to check the time, but I think it's probably just after nine o'clock right now, so that's nine out of ten shots down. All right, everyone, so we are now on to shot number 10 of the video, and this one's just going to be a recreation of the shot I did in 2020 where I knocked the blue dice out of the middle of the stack of red dice. And this one I'll probably attempt for about 30 minutes to an hour or so, but I honestly am not feeling really confident in this one, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. So anyways, here we go, first shot. Oh 
my gosh, what the heck is happening? I literally have had like the most successful day of all time. I didn't think I was going to score that one, the darts one, or even the blindfolded cap on cap. Yes! By the way guys, update, that shot took 7 minutes. What the heck? Yes! Alrighty guys, so it is now about 10.15 in the evening, and we are on to the 11th trick shot of this challenge already, and it's another blindfolded one, and this one's just simply going to be me throwing a card into the little card box down there without seeing anything. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Oh my gosh, that sounded good. Is that it? Oh my gosh, that was it. Dude, what is happening today? That one took eight minutes. Dude, I don't even know what to say about today. This one... This has probably been my most successful trick shooting day to date. I'm talking like past four years. This has been like number one on the list. I don't even know what to say about that. Let's go. All right, everyone, it is official. We are finally on to the last trick shot of this challenge. And for this one, it's just going to be a simple five tile ping pong stair bouncer trick shot. And to be honest, I'm not even really sure what I'm going to do after this, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I just finished cleaning up the last trick shot that I did, and uh, basically even though I tied up the video, the 24 hour trick shot challenge, I honestly think I'm just going to stop the trick shooting here because I've already done all 12 of the trick shots that I planned out, and I haven't really thought of any others to do, maybe other than just some dice stacking shorts, so anyways, that's the update for now, so see you in a little bit. To dream, believe in strength. Now I'm the only one, only one. I was an ordinary boy until I.
Alright guys, we are finally on the home stretch of this challenge. We have just over 30 minutes left in the challenge and just over 30 minutes until I can finally get some sleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we have done it, folks. That is the 24 hour timer. We just finished it. And I'll probably end up doing some little like post challenge talk through thing a little later, but for now, I'll be hitting the hay. So, good night, you guys. Alrighty guys, so it is now a couple days after I've finished the 24 hour challenge and we are here to do a little bit of a discussion about it. And so, first of all, that was probably one of the most successful challenges I've ever filmed and may ever film too because not only did I meet all the requirements to complete the challenge, but I also completed every single trick shot that I had planned to do within the first 15 hours of the challenge. And I feel like that was one of the main factors that contributed to why this challenge was so fun for me to film. Although it was still fun nevertheless to film, so. Anyways, second thing, whether or not I would recommend this challenge. So, here's my advice. For someone with a sleep schedule like myself, then probably not, because like for the day following it, I was just shot. But at least I'm good now, so. Anyways, I would probably not recommend it with someone with a tight sleep schedule, but if you venture beyond your normal sleep schedule, then it is kind of a fun challenge, so. Anyways, that's about all I have to say, so thank you guys for tuning in to watch. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the post notifications, and that's going to be all for this video, so thank you for watching, and see you next time.